So welcome to a very special day. 20 years ago, today, a small little game came out. A Zelda game. I don't know, have you heard of this game, Rob? Have you heard of this? That, I don't know. I mm, It's one of the smaller entries in the series. I think it's a Game Boy uh, game. Not maybe. Many people play it. No, 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 it's <laughs> Orcarina of Time. One of the most important games of all time. Absolutely. This is a huge, big game. Uh, we're so excited. I called Rob up and I said, uh, you got to get over here this week so we can talk about oh, this. This must be spoken of. It must be. We have oh so much God. to talk about. We're going to be here for a long time. Get comfy. Get comfy, for sure. And it was 20 years ago this game was released. We're gonna go back to the beginning. Do you know a bunch of years ago you came on and we talked about the 25th anniversary of, of Zelda? Yeah. The first one coming out. Yeah. We never talked about Ocarina of Time. And we've yeah, never, we've only we've ever never. talked about it a little bit here and a little bit there. But yeah, ne not, we've never actually a dedicated. No. No, no. which is amazing considering how iconic a game was and how huge in our lives this huge. time period and this launch and this game was for us. It was amazing. amazing. And we have to go back to 1996 and I oh, dug God. this up. I remember 1996 oh, and I looked it up, Rob. This is, this is the bit I was telling you you'll be shocked by. Okay. In 1996 in Vancouver, there was a huge snowstorm that set records. That actually set I remember, records. I remember yeah. it. I remember. It, there was so much snow. I, nobody, nobody could move in yeah, Vancouver. No, you couldn't go anywhere. You, you couldn't, couldn't go anywhere. anywhere. But that wasn't going to stop me from getting my Die Hard Game Fan magazine because I remember they were going to show the Nintendo 64, the Ultra 64. We were so obsessed with those. Well, the, our video game magazines were alive. We didn't have yep. the internet. Yep. So I put on my boots, put on my jacket, and I walked in the snow <laughs> okay. all the way. Now, and it, this is a long way to go to this uh, local mall I had to go to. Now, now we've also got to get into the fact that if you weren't driving, you didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Back then, you were like... Uh, Fuck it. I'm not. If I'm not driving, I'm not going. I don't give a shit. Oh me. I'm not going yeah. out. You. Oh. He was oh, you're so. About me. He was so like I. If I can't drive it, I don't care. He, he just. He didn't want to deal with. She was just too much effort. It was too. But for this. Oh yeah. For this. Yes. Different story. It was a snowstorm. No joke. No, I'm not embellishing this story. No. I walked up, and you, there's a funny outcome to this. So I finally I get to Save On Foods, which had a big magazine. Oh, you rack. went to the one at Scottsdale, didn't that's you? That's the only one that. Had oh Diet. my, that's right. That's the only one that had Die Hard oh, Game Fan magazine. That's a hike. And here's the funny thing. <laughs> I get all the way there, and I'm like, yes, because every Sunday the magazines that's came in. Right. And I got to the magazine section. There was nobody in Save On Foods because this snowstorm was so bad. I get there, I'm like, yes. I get over there and I'm like, where the fuck are the magazines? <laughs> and I went to the woman and I said, where are the magazines? She's like, oh, the trucks can make it. I'm like, ah, I don't believe it. Oh, but really? It was so funny. Jeez. But anyways, I think it was a week later, a week later, I went up and I got this magazine oh, right here. Oh, yeah. And we were leaping through it. And this is the big thing here was the screenshots right here. Oh, of a, a very, look here, Rob, have a look at this. The pointy nosed. Oh, the uh, Pinocchio Link. Yeah, the Pinocchio Link, we will say. And the super shiny armor. It was yeah. like all, at the time, amazing looking oh, detail. Oh, oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah, this is our first uh, glimpse into this. And then we started hearing that it was going to be made for the 64DD, the yeah. disk drive. And we're like, what? And I remember, I remember many a nights you yeah. over, and we, we, and we say these stories were smoking because you know we used to smoke mm -hmm. back then and, drink and drank beer. Oh, and fuck. we sat and just drank beer and talked about the possibilities <sighs> of what the 64 DD drive would do for a Zelda game. And I remember you specifically saying, I bet what's going to happen is you shoot an arrow into, into a, a tree, tree and it'll stay there. It'll stay no, there. You can go yes. back no matter how long you've been playing and it'll always be there. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I know it's like, <laughs> and I remember drinking my beer, smoking my cigarette. I was like, "Whoa, man! Holy we, shit!" And back then, this was like this was you know prophetic. We were speaking of truths at that yeah. time because the internet wasn't there to make us liars. <laughs> We had magazines and we had the imagination, and that was it. Oh. I remember that exact conversation. I, 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 I remember. I we yeah, isn't that funny? It's twenty years that this game, yeah. the build up to it, started at that point. We saw the magazine, philosophizing about it, oh. and then all of a sudden, it's getting closer to the day. And yeah. we should talk about. We got to talk about before we got it because we did the demo. And oh. you, you, you have a good memory of this. Okay, we went to, and it was. Walmart was brand new to Canada. Yeah. Walmart was, we didn't have Walmart. I mean, we had Zellers, we had Kmart, we had the Bay. Walmart wasn't a thing up here. And one opened at Guilford Town Center. Right. And we had heard 
that there was a demo kiosk for this game in the Walmart. And now this, I mean, again, pre-internet, you didn't get to watch videos, you didn't get to see trailers, there was none of that crap. Yeah. We had these magazine still shots, so the chance to see this thing moving. We were just oh well we got uh, we, we have to we, we have to see but it. we argued well, about we, it we, we no well we argued about it but we also agreed okay you know what when we get there we're not gonna play it we're gonna look at it we're gonna see it in motion we're not gonna, we're not gonna play it we're we gonna, are not we're gonna look going at it, play it we're gonna look at it from we a distance we're gonna just stand back watch it move for a minute get our little taste. Little, yes, and a little then, bit. And then away we go. Nothing else. And we were just, we're not going to, 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 we're not going to. We walked in, we looked at it, we went, well. And no, no, we got to be strong. And then he started saying, no, I just want to play it for a minute. And I started yelling. We got in a fight Yeah, we were in the I, store. I remember we had a big we're argument arguing. about it. Yeah. And he's, no, I want to play it. No, no, you said we can't. I and know. We have we, to we, wait. We it were, has to be a fresh experience. We were so funny, eh? Oh, God. Like, it, like it's, you know... Often I said on the show that some of these releases were like religious experiences. Yes. I, I, people bug me about it. Think it's what? Hilarious. No, they think it's funny. How I is... refer to things, no. video games as being religious. No. But this, this, we this, were, was, this was the we were, first Zelda in 3D. in 3D. Yeah, following A Link to the Past. Which was such an amazing, still my favorite in the series yeah. personally, but like this was unheard of. Unheard of. Unheard of. So, let's, so <laughs> we, we got into that fight that day, but then, then it became oh launch day and we can tell our own stories oh. where we were on launch day. I'll, oh I'll start God. with mine. I was in film school and I remember it was the, yes. fr I think it was a Friday when this game was released yeah. and I, I was just like, I'm going to go get the game. It was a big deal. I had it pre-ordered. This is like the special edition yep. version here, all that stuff. I got in, in the car and here's the really weird thing. It was 1998. But I still okay. had tapes. I had CDs, but I also had yes. You know, I still had a mix, of, a mix of tapes somewhere, and I had a Link to the Past soundtrack on tape. And I drove to EB Games and I listened to uh, like a Link to the Past playing yeah. all the way there. And it was like building that excitement for me. And I picked up the game and I was like, yes. And I came home and I don't think I've ever told you about this. Is that because back then we set everything up. It was a big deal oh, thing. Oh, you know, yeah. We had coffees and we had oh. drinks and we had cigarettes set up and close the blinds. Oh, it was... You know, kick the cat out. We didn't even, I didn't even have a cat, but the cat, <laughs> the cat was out. And so I got ready and I had it all set up, the N64. I'm like, oh my God, I opened it up. And I was just like, this uh, is smell, my moment. This is my manual. Yeah, all, uh, just all that moment. Mm. And it was like, this is my moment. And then all of a sudden, my fucking sister came in. And she's like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, can you come out and do it? And she just started arguing with me uh, and creating an attempt. And we got into this huge uh, argument. And then finally, she got so like annoyed and angry at our conversation. She said, fine, I'm leaving. And I'm like, yes, get the heck out of here. And then I sat down and it just started. And I couldn't believe it. I was just like, this, this is incredible. But we'd been all, you know, when we got the N64, it was like, okay, we want it for Mario and we want it for Zelda. Zelda. And finally yeah. the Zelda moment was happening. It took so long. It and felt it took like, so long. It felt like an eternity, yeah. again, pre-internet days. It was so long. And it lived up to it for me. What was oh. happening with you that day 20 years okay. ago? 20 years ago, that day. So we're gonna rewind up a few days. I was living in Kamloops. I had moved with a friend to Kamloops on promises of some amazing things. And so I was trying to eke out a living up there, but I had, this is how long ago we had pre-ordered these. Oh yeah, I yeah. had pre-ordered it in Vancouver. Yeah. So I got on a Greyhound bus the Thursday before, the day before this launched, and rode all the way from Kamloops to Vancouver. It was like a 16 hour bus ride. Why didn't you just get it up there? I know you were telling me before. Oh, because Edwin. Because you couldn't get, I had pre-ordered this. You couldn't get that on oh. launch day without a pre-order. If you oh. wanted the special edition, you had to pre-order it. It was like two years before the pre-order. Do you know what? You're right about that. I remember when yeah. I went to pick it up, they're like, do you have a pre-order? Because all, you know, all the That top, was the very, that was the thin edge of the wedge on yeah. that shit, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And now we're all sick of it. Yeah. But, it, yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. the angry moment. Yeah. But that was, I had pre-ordered my special gold cartridge limited edition with lenticular cover yeah. of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Vancouver and not hell nor high water nor anything else was going to stop me from fucking getting it. So I got on that Greyhound. I can't and I sat there for 16 fucking hours. 
are surrounded by smelly humans in a broken toilet. Yeah. It was an amazing trip from hell. Oh, and when I arrived at the Greyhound station, the beacon of shining light, my savior, my knight in shining armor, this man was waiting with his car <laughs> to gently escort me away from humanity and back to my parents' house in Delta. So, so I drove to your parents' house. What time was that at? Do you remember? That was, oh God, I arrived at like 9.30 or 10 at night. Right. It was late. Right. And you dropped me off and you were like, I gotta go to school tomorrow. I gotta go bye. Yeah. And you took off and oh. I went into my parents' house and sort of, you know, hey, how you doing? And I got into bed and I fell asleep, a, a very fitful sleep because I was so excited. Right. The next morning, I got up. I planned out my bus route because I didn't drive back then. And I got on public transit and I went all the way to Oak Ridge Mall where my buddy Edwin worked who had helped me hook up the pre-order. And I picked up my copy of that game. Now, my N64 was in camera. So I picked it up. And why, did I you, had, why did you bring it with you? Because I knew I was going straight back up the day oh, after to God. go back to Kamloops. So it's so funny. I you, came down for one day yeah. to get that game. So you went, it. It's so funny. You went all the way back and you experienced this entire game up there. Yes. Uh, most of it, yes. Yeah. So now, what's interesting is, so I, I went back to Kamloops with my game. I had had my moment at home. In our living room, you remember our living room where the TV was? Oh, yeah. Opening it up and taking out the cartridge and looking at it and smelling the manual and reading through it and everything. It's so magical. And then I put it back up and I wrapped it in a t-shirt and put it in my bag to go back to Kamloops. <sighs> and made the long, harrowing trek back. Yeah, basically, we're not going to get all the details because this story but, would be so long. But, yeah. but you, the experience of living in Kamloops was not good. You had a Let's, friend that promised you a job and yes. some experiences now, out there. And then you never got that. Now, That's what ended up happening. There's another thing I need to point out. This is the game that made me stop smoking weed. <laughs> well, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're not getting to see anybody smoking weed, but we, me and you never smoked weed. We didn't really. But when I moved I up never there, yeah. the people I was living with, they grew some. And I found it was kind of fun. Yeah. So I'd have a little now and then. But I remember the Dodonago boss. Right. I was fighting the Dodonago boss, and I was woohoo flying. And I was all crazy. And it took me like an hour and a half or two hours to kill it. Right. And I was like, I'm not saving that stupid. Oh, you told me that. So then yeah, I went to sleep. Yeah. And I woke up clear-headed the next day and was like, okay. Went out, made some coffee, came back, sat down, had my coffee, put the game on, killed the thing in like 20 minutes. And I was like, that's I'm never smoking weed again. That shit's fucking up my games. Right, so it took you how long the night before? Uh, I had like an hour and a half. Oh, jeez. I was like, nope, nope, because I was trying to throw the bombs in the mouth, and yeah. I was like, nope, I'm not smoking weed ever again. That's fucking that, up my games. We, we just if I got to choose, yeah. weed, games, games. Oh, uh, I, I made that decision a few years before with creativity-wise. I found that uh, weed was like stump, stumping my creativity. Uh, I was like, I'm, I want to get into art and anime, and I want to stick with that. And that's why I kind of gave up pop. But if anybody likes it, it's illegal in Vancouver now. Yeah, anybody it is now. Anybody but, can do it all the, you know. But personally... I'll take my vid games over to Right, right. Now, here's the thing. I started playing the game, and I loved it. I love the combat, yeah. the music. We had to talk about the music for a second. Oh, the, the music. The music is so interesting to listen to all these years later, and I was listening to yeah. it before Rob came over to get myself yeah. in the mood. It's the thing that gets me the, the most about the music, how haunting. Yes. It, it's, it's like haunting of 20 years ago, but even at that moment, we knew it was that important. Yes. It wasn't just like, oh, we're looking back 20 years and we're nostalgic. The music was good then and haunting then, and listening to it 20 years later is even more like surreal. Oh, it yeah. reminds me of that time being, being oh. in film school and all that, and you were off, you know, in Kamloops. Um, the thing that really gets me the most is when you came back, what happened is I got so stuck in the game. This is before the internet. There was no yep. Let's Plays. No. Nope. When you got stuck in a game, I can't even remember where I was at. Maybe the water dungeon level. Probably the water level. That pissed me. I, I hate water dungeon old. levels in games. Always. I can't stand Always. Up. Water and ice. But the great thing is, Rob had a pretty bad experience up where he was living. That's the, the great thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was good for me. It was good for me. Because eventually you came back. Yep. And I went and picked you up, and you came over, and it was nice to have you back, but I'm like, hey, we got some work to do. <laughs> you know, we got a few things we need to do here. And Rob, help me get past that goddamn, uh, where, uh, wherever uh, I was stuck in the game uh, at the point. I remember, because I came, my parents picked me up, drove me home. I was, uh, I, 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 we got home late at night. I went to sleep. The next day, uh, this guy's at the front door. I was like, hey, oh, God, it's so good to see you again. Big hug. Oh, I missed you so much. Hey, uh, why, don't we, why don't you come over to my house? We'll hang out. Be, yeah. And I'm telling him some of what's been going on. I was like, that's so terrible. That's hey, great. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. stuck in Zelda. Can you just sort of, just while you talk, can going? you just, yeah. just, just, just here, take the controller and just while you talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you can leave now. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know? But what, what, a, what a memorable game with some experiences. And you got to show, oh, like, God. Uh, now, so... The, of the soundtrack. Yeah, back to the soundtrack, yeah. 
so amazing. And before my first trip to Japan, which was also around 98, 99. Right. right um, I had heard there was a symphonic release of the soundtrack. So a full symphony orchestra hired to play the soundtrack this is and record. Before you could just download soundtracks, oh, right? So I mean, remember, Yahan Center was our place to go. Yeah. But they didn't get everything. They didn't, they didn't get, get much everything. Of anything, really. They ended up getting some Zelda stuff a little bit later on. So but. the first thing I bought when I got to Akihabara when no. I was in Japan, and I was like, video game heaven. Yeah. I found, because I went looking for, the Hyrule Symphony's Ocarina of Time soundtrack. Yeah. And I'll tell you, to this day, still one of my most favorite CDs that I own, one of my most favorite albums. The music, as amazing as it is just from the N64 with a full symphony playing it, it oh, is yeah. just, like, it's tear-inducingly beautiful. And as you said, it is haunting oh. because so much of it is so slow and melodic. It's and just, and then to hear it this way is so powerful. And, 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 and then that one goddamn song, The Lost Woods, that insane oh. song. That song... I would be sitting in film school editing on a computer, and I'd just be hearing that music as I'm listening to the, I was like, oh my god. And hear it. I didn't even have the soundtrack. I was hearing it in my brain. It was just going. It was just going. It would. I can still rec comes right back to me Remember right now. Remember we used to do the chicken noises for Oh, yeah. All, all of this stuff. We would, we'd have a lot of... We'd have, yeah. See, we went crazy. We were crazy but with that song. We were crazy for this game. Oh. And, and it's funny. We always look back to the N64 and Mario and Zelda as being such a pinnacle of that time period. Oh, man. It, it solidified was... an entire time period. It did. It really, well, really did. This is this is the one that brought the time travel aspect, having a young Link and an yes. old Link, uh, the, the fairies being able to talk and having interaction. I remember the fairies in the ponds in this <laughs> one were so... <laughs> what was that about? I know, that was so creepy and weird. I'm like, weirdly... I'm like... Yeah. It was, they, they, because you know what? We were going from overhead sprites to 3D, and it was like, wow. wow. I remember, yeah, I just, and just being able to traverse a world in 3D oh. as Link, it was a dream come true at the time. It was. And they pulled it off exceptionally well. Yes. They could have fucked it up somehow, but this game was deep, it was huge, there was so much to it, so many secrets so to discover. So ahead of its time. It, it really was. Amazing. They, they really did it. They did yeah. that with Mario 64, and then they did it with uh, Zelda, and then all of a sudden, yeah. Zelda 64, and then everybody started doing the Mario and the Zelda 64s in 3D, copying yeah. those kind of ideas of the and platforming styles. in yeah. 3D. They did such a, a great job, and man, is, is there anything else you want to say about it? Like, you know, well, first of all, that I knew, because we talked that there was an anniversary, but I couldn't keep straight in my head, which was the fact that it's 20, 20 years is just, it's mind numbing. I was, I was 24 at the time. I was oh. 24 back then. God, then I would have been, I was... 21? 20? 21? Yeah. Wait, you came out in 97? Oh, yeah, how old are you now? I'm 41 now. You're three so years was... younger, you're 21. No, Crazy. I turned 20 in the year 2000. Or no, 23 in the year 2000. So yes, it was 21. So yes. 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 I, I'm sorry. My yeah. math not so good right now. <laughs> he's gotten old. <laughs> he, 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 he used to be 21. Now he's 41. He's shriveling up. He's, oh my I'm God. Old and broken. But it's, you know, hey. there's a lot, you know, on this show, I talk about a lot of, uh, you know, the passage of time. And I think people are always like interested, in, like always oh, mentioning the passage of time again. Yes. He's saying it again, and again. But it's it's such a um, a moment of these games and how they yeah. signify moments in our time and how twenty years can go by like that. Yeah. And that that moment is over. So all the young people watching right now is like, yeah, I'll be young forever. No, no, nope. you won't no. be. It goes by that fast. All of a sudden, it's going to be twenty years later, and you're yeah. going to be talking about you know like uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, I remember twenty years ago when Breath of the Wild came out. It'll and happen to you. How amazing! it was and the sounds and the music and the, uh, the, the uh, watching grainy internet videos oh I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be dead by then <laughs> thank god you know I'll be, I'll be oh, in breath man. of the heaven or something like that it'll be all over but guys we just want to come in and share some of our moments and memories with Orcarina of Time being 20 years old today unbelievable so anyways guys until next time oh, I should hit record Shit! Shit.